G'day everyone, how are you going? Sue Gordian here. Uh, I think by now you realise that we are all bored, so I decided that we would do Gordy's Gas Bag, uh, courtesy brought to you by Corona, my favourite sponsor, um, and very topical at the moment. Uh, and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to go through my contacts list and just catch a netballer and see if they'll have a chat with me. And I came across none other than Shelly O'Donnell. Shelly! Hey! <laughs> How are you going? Yeah, good, good. Are you bored, bored. like me? Yeah, pretty bored. Although I am connecting with all of my friends that I haven't seen or heard from for however long. And <laughs> I probably, probably have more conversations with them now than what I did when I was actually busy. <laughs> There's it's your daughter, good. Hannah, in the background. Hannah, you are... Hi, Hannah. Hi, hi. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, future superstar, for those of you that don't know, look out for Hannah Mundy coming through the Victorian ranks. Extraordinary play. Right, let's... Um, uh, I have no agenda. I thought we just, we haven't had a chat for ages. So here's cheers. I'm sure, you, have you got a wine somewhere that you can? Uh, no, I'll just get one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now, that we're, we're, I'm doing this at 2.45 in the afternoon. It's, raw, it's okay for you. It's 5.45. So I haven't got out of my pyjamas. This will be my attire for Gordy's gas bag. Um, and a different hat every time. So listen, yeah. um, you played netball for a bit. Oh yeah, 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 still playing. I was going to say, are you are you the um, are you the longest serving Australian diamond netballer to continue to play? Like you would hold the world record for someone that played for Australia that simply cannot give the the game up. Yeah, absolutely, and I don't actually know why I continue to play and continue to do this to myself. Particularly, at least when I was playing elite level, I was on boards inside. I choose to go outside now and compete with not only my body and the aging way it is now, but also wind, rain, asphalt. <laughs> not great combinations, I must say. But that's where we all started, Shell. That's where we all started. I know. I think I went up, 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 and now I'm going down, 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 down. So I don't know. I don't know what happens when I get there. Like when I'm out of the, out of the picture and I just can't walk. But I'm sorry, I refuse to do walking netball. If I have to resort to that, only because I feel that if I know how competitive I am, and there's no way I can walk. So if I <laughs> I won't, if I can still walk, I'll be running yeah. around the court. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the days when we used to play at East Doncaster and we used to go down because there was the wheelchair netball. And so Robin English, who was the coach of the club at the time, if you recall, would occasionally send some of us down to fill in for the wheelchair netball. Did you ever yeah. do that? I don't think I don't think I did, but I do I I do recall. Yeah. I don't I don't reckon I, I had a go. I played I my been... first I played my first game. I was in wing attack and they threw the ball. And I just got up out of the chair and ran for it, <laughs> which defeats the purpose, really, doesn't it? Exactly. I mean, if the ball's out of reach, what are you going to do? You're going to let it go because you can't you reach go. it. In the chair? No, you're going to you're going to you're going to throw yourself out of the chair and get it. And probably the way I ended up most times when I'd be flying out of court anyway, trying to keep the ball in. I'm pretty sure I would do that too, Gordy. So you're not alone. <laughs> hey, Shell. I've always wanted to ask you this question. So. There's, you know, uh, we did the show, The Centurions, um, which I think you came to. You, you came to one of the shows, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah brilliant. Um, Loved it. And one of, one of the bits of footage that we had up in the show was um, uh, it was the, the World Cup, um, the 90, which one was the one where Sherelle shot the winning goal? I'm having a mental blank. No, well, which one didn't she? But yeah. 99, which one I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the ball and you slipped on the decal. Yeah, yeah. Or you slipped, right? Yeah. That same yeah. game, do you remember the bit of footage where they threw you the ball and you stepped and then threw it and they never picked it up as well? Do you remember uh, that? You hit the ball in the right-hand side pocket, right? And and then you, you you actually step. Like, I've slowed it down and I've watched it. And the umpire's just, like, play on and you throw the ball. It's like in, the, in its critical moments. I mean that's what happens, but I, I don't I don't agree. I don't believe you for one because I don't stare and never stare. Oh, I might have to go back and have a look just so I can it, it can sort of get I, I don't know like I don't 
recall that moment. I do recall the moment I slipped. The funny thing is that decal sign didn't just get put there in the last 10 seconds of the game. It was there all game. So I don't get why I didn't slip on it earlier. No, no, just happened to slip on it. I suppose yeah, it created it was... a bit more drama. I and know. I, reckon, I reckon I stepped, played ball, did something and hurt myself <laughs> um, at the same time and nothing was blown and oh. it was just the heat of the moment. The umpires probably didn't want to call anything and just let it play on, which I was pretty pleased about. But, yeah, yeah, it was a um, pretty... Tell yeah. me, let, let's go back. So, who was who? We used to room in the old days. You had Vicky Wilson, oh, Keely Devery, our Channel Nine executive producer. Now, who who was a nightmare to room with? They all say it was you, but who did you think was a nightmare to room with? Um. Well, I, I can't say that anyone was actually a nightmare. I, I was scared to room with Vicky, and I was scared to room with Simone. So, Simone McKenna's I used to room with a lot with Victoria yeah. and I just didn't want to do the wrong thing. Lights went out. Oh, well, that was Vicky actually. <laughs> yep. I had to room with someone because I'm a night owl. Vicky's an early yeah. bird. Yeah. And so when it doesn't work with your sleep patterns and when you perhaps fear that person, <laughs> <laughs> you, make sure, you make sure you do everything right. So I was going to bed pretty early when I was with Vicky and, uh, yeah, didn't really want to rock the boat with Simone. But uh, anything to keep them happy so they put out great performances the next day, I was happy to do. I'm a team player. Yeah, but, you're a team uh, player. God I am a team player. But quite often I used to just go, oh, well, they're going to bed. I might just go and see the physio or the doctor and I'd give them, you know, hang with them for a while. So, yeah, there's always a way around it. Yeah. Um, and tell me, you know, like you look at today's Suncorp Super Netball, hope to God that we get it back before the year is out. Um, as, a, as a former mid-quarter, who, who stands out to you at the moment? You just go, oh, great big time. Wish I could yeah. have played alongside her if our yeah. era's had a match. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really rate um, Liz Watson in wing attack. Yeah. I think she's just, I just, I love watching her and I tend to, I tend to watch my position quite a lot as well. So I watch a lot of wing attacks and centres and watch where they're moving and, and I just think she's just got amazing speed, agility, timing and, you know, balance um, and she's, she's amazing to watch. I, I, I really love Laura Langman. Langman. I think she's in centre, just that person that just keeps going and going and going. She plays the last minute of a game like she, like the start of a game. She just doesn't seem to tire. So um, there's a couple of people. I mean, I used to really um, like watching um, Maddie Brown back when she was at the top of her game. I thought she had, you know, amazing, you know, speed and um, timing as well change of direction and um, Kelsey Brown when she came through and really showed everyone what she was all about as well. So, yeah, look, there's, there's a lot there and it's really hard. People say they try and compare our era to the current era and it's really hard to do that because you don't know until you get out against them how you would rate against them. Um, and I suppose you could only sort of... Look at it now. I know that the game's so much different now. I don't know whether I could have coped with the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, give, go, give, go, give, go, give, go. Um, but obviously that just meant that you would have had to have been made sure that your endurance and your fitness was up there. And if you're playing like that the whole time, then obviously you would build that sort of fitness level. Um, in fairness, what you're saying is back when, when you played, the game was really direct, wasn't it? It was a long shoulder pass. It'd be three balls down the court and then the shot. That's, that's what you mean, isn't it? Versus a lot more of a possession-styled, less structured game and, and basically with the intensity of the defence that happens in our league at the moment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, you know, like you watch, you watch the game now and it's like, it's like there's a minute to go all throughout the game, it's like there's a minute to go and they're trying to hold the ball. Yeah. And you're just looking down and you're going, can you just look down and let it go? Yeah. But I also 
exactly what you're saying is the, the, the defensive pressure and perhaps, if I must say, the allowance of a little bit more, you know, of that closeness and uh, 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 argy-bargy. Um, you know, if you, if you sit and you stare at a position and you just watch that player and see how they've got to virtually get rid of their defender before they even make their moves, preliminary moves to get to the ball, then it's, it's pretty tough out there and I would imagine pretty exhausting to, to get away from your defender. Whereas I think, I really think that we weren't allowed that sort of contest when we were coming through. Yeah. And, and also our shooters pretty much just turned and backed themselves and put them up from the edge of the circle. And, you know, we had some awesome shooters back then. But then in my day as well, which um, we are pretty pleased when we are up against in those big major, you know, championships. Yeah, we absolutely. had great shooters to finish it off for, off for yeah. us. Shout out to V Wilson, one that stands out. Uh, we'll try and see yeah. if we can have a chat with her down the track. So, um, obviously, let's talk coronavirus because everyone is. COVID-19, our new best friend. How are you coping? Yeah, look... I think you just have to adapt to what, you know, and do the right thing. I mean, there's still a lot of things you can be doing to mentally to keep yourself in, you know, sane. Um, finding that the dog's getting plenty of walks. So. <laughs> <Mine too. laughs> Thank you. The dog goes out a couple of times a day. Um, and it used to be who's walked the dog? Didn't you walk the dog today? Um, I think you have that time now to... Like we said before, I feel like I'm connecting more a lot with my friends that I haven't spoken to uh, um, for a long time. Get out there and and you know start or continue with your with your exercise regime and and get your mind and your body healthy and and we just have to all we're all in it together and we just have to accept what's happened to our lives and not sit back and just whinge about it. I get that there are people in financial hardships and losing their jobs, and I, for one, am, am one of them because um, what I do now is is I coach through, throughout the school and uh, run my own programs, I do a lot of stuff for NetFit, and a lot of it, it, well, obviously we're not able to do it because we can't be in, you know, groups larger than two. And uh, so my income has pretty much stopped, and um, I suppose you just got to, you know, Stay positive and just keep thinking that there will be an end. And whilst there isn't at the moment, enjoy the time with your family, your friends, your kids. I know the kids can drive me up the wall at times, but, you know, I might look back and go, gee, if I don't connect with them, <laughs> I might go, what a waste of time. And if I do, I'll go, gee, that was a great time. It was a shit time, but it was also a great time because we got to sort of, you know, be a family and, and have some connection and find some, you know, some, from great times with each other because life will just get busy again and then we forget about all these things and just and just do our day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah, we're, we're being forced to press the reset button. That's how I see it. And I think for me, the, I, I said the other day that two of the biggest values that I'm seeing come out of this is number one is just great human kindness and number two is a community spirit. Um, and it's such a shame that those things don't exist forefront of our mind on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I feel like we just have to embrace this at the moment, don't we? Because as you say, um, we will go again and the button will be pressed and the green light will go. And I feel like everyone's foot's going to hit the bloody floor of the car and fly right. off at a rate of knots and we'll, we'll almost forget that this even happened. So I think for those of us that can embrace this moment and make the most out of it, whether that is yeah. connecting or, you know, resetting yeah. your health button or whatever. Um, yeah. And then we should we should do it. So, hey, Shell, yeah. uh, unreal to have a chat. I'd love to go on forever and a day, but I want people to kind of watch this video right through to the end. But what I will do before we finish, because for those people that don't know, you and I do go a fair way back, um, and we have been known to be the last to leave a pub. <laughs> the loudest, the deepest. The loudest, <laughs> that's right. And often fighting for the microphone at a karaoke bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still love that. Yeah, good to see, mate. Uh, Favourite karaoke song? Oh, what was that song I did at Netfest? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but that was so good. Um, was what did you do? It was, wasn't it Jimmy Barnes? I think it was Jimmy Barnes. Yeah, yeah. And I strained the voice just like he does. 
I was, I was not, I was no good. But you know what? I my, thought I was. Good. That's what own, karaoke's about. World, I was good. My my go to song used to be "I Will Survive," and I think that's pretty apt at the moment. The "I Will Survive" because I think we will. Um, and I have seen a rendition of "I Will Survive" um, post on Facebook, which is hilarious. Um, I might do my own and maybe uh, you know send it through to you, Gordy, and uh, well, so you can feel, have a laugh. Feel free to serenade us as I say goodbye to everyone. "I Will Survive" by Shelley O'Donnell. This is a first, folks. Uh, Australian champion. Uh, we love the fact that Shelley's been our first person on Gordy's gas bag. You've set the standard, Shell. Very impressed. Shelley O'Donnell, cool. folks, I will survive. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get along. And so you're back. From outer space, I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. Should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you change your key. If I'd have known for just one second you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Shelly O'Donnell, give it up. This is Courtney's gas bag. A big thanks to you, Shell. Really appreciate all your time and all the very best through COVID-19. And I'm sure everyone can catch you on Netflix. Uh, you're doing a terrific job there with Sarah Wall and Kim Green and the gang. So switch on to that, folks, if you haven't seen it already. And, uh, and once again, thanks for being on Gordy's Gas Bag, our first person, Jelly O'Donnell. Pleasure, God. See ya. Stay safe.